Francisca starting on the bench for Collingwood. Kelly's got Kernahan. It did look as if Paul Williams is starting on the bench also for Collingwood. Justin Murphy, Tony Lynn, and Matthew Allen for Carl. Collingwood go to the left. Blues to the right of screen. First bounce. Line ball. France has got his hands on it. Strong tackle on uh, Ratton there by Burns. Free kick. Blues get the first one. It'll be Hogg. No, they're going to advantage it. Hogg called out. He said, let Chris do go, and he did. Kicks to full forward. Heaver with a chance. Was held on to with pace. Couldn't quite get through. Pierce will kick the first goal. Listen to the roar. The Blues are off to a fly. And the man who did so much damage last year starts the season with the opening goal for Carlton. Fittingly, just like Gary Ablett did on Friday night to kick the first goal in 1996 for Geelong. He was a revelation last year, uh, Bruce, as you rightly pointed out. And he seems just to fit in perfectly with Stephen Kernahan there. He's kicked a lot of goals uh, in, in a short period of time for Carlton. And what a start to a season, getting the first goal in such a big match. Very dangerous player, Brad Pearce. Going to kick a lot of goals this year for the Blues. Here's Justin Madden starting in the centre. Moncos tries to tap it out to Francis. Francis over the ball. Players very aware you've got to get that ball out quickly or you can be pinged. There's Scott Crow. Further afield, it comes to the half forward line for the Magpies. Watson tries to knock it on. He did it well to Graham Wright. Right over the top. Here's Patterson. He centers the ball unselfishly in towards the direction of McDonald. Oh, poor hand pass by McDonald. Straight to Justin Madden. Madden to the half forward line, punched away, and Spalding is there. Spalding with Kuda Fides. Kuda Fides caught, loses the ball in the tackle. Here's the dangerous Williams. Punched on by Moncourt. Back it comes to Ratton. On to Justin Madden. Madden the quick kick to the half forward line. Pierce, look at the pace of Pierce. Back comes Scotty Russell. He's got some support here from Burns. And Scott Burns drives it out towards centre wing to Mickey McGuan who can't mark. Williams gets hold of it, a rather... Uh... It's Crow, the new man from Hawthorne, across to Russell with run at centre wing, goes to centre half forward, Brown caught underneath, Rocker off his chest. Hickmont's got the football, good hands, got it to Silvani. Silvani to uh, Madden, it's stirring stuff early. Madden to centre wing. Front spot was Manton, sitting, waiting, Buckley too slow, gone. Holding it, no, holding on to it, they said, and it'll be a bounce. He was lucky, Heaver was on to him. A couple of matchups here. You can see Tony Francis being followed around by uh, Matthew Hogg. Greg Williams has got Mick McGuan. We've seen those couple a number of times. And Alec McDonald has got uh, Kuda Fides. Moncos won it. Thanks for that, Jared. Christou to Madden. The big off again as Christou kicks to centre half forward. Kernahan. Kelly against him hard. Russell's handball was accurate under pressure. Watson's left foot kick into the centre. Hickman attacked it strongly. The Blue fans will love him for this. He'll make an impression early. Goes to Rice. High ball to half forward. Front spot sporting. Punch away OK by Shawville. Goes to Russell. Russell at half back. Little one. Good kick in the circumstances. Straight to the boundary line. Out of play. Yes, it was a good kick. He had no one to give it to. And he kept it low and went to the safety of the boundary line. Scott Russell. So centre wing. Moncorst and Madden, none of this holding on anymore. Here's Scott Crow, discarded by Hawthorne. He brings it in towards Rocker. Oh, that's a very, very good mark by Sexton, running back with a flight of the ball. And no uh, regard for injury then. Could have been cleaned up. He goes short. Here's Christo getting plenty of touches early. Carlton's running game already in evidence. As we see, Adrian Hickmott, the former Geelong player, he's got a panic to run in. Onto the left he goes and brings it towards half forward. Pierce is there. And Merton. Merton has been a good player for the Blues. On the Whitehead. They're looking dangerous, Carlton. Whitehead breaks the tackle. Centers the ball. This is Camparelli. He sprints clear, brings it in. Oh, good play, Camparelli. And the mark's been taken by Sporting. 15 metres out from goal. Classic piece of play by Carlton. Started with Michael Sexton, who was courageous in his mark, deep in defence. They took it right around the boundary line, maintaining possession. And then they played a little bit like basketball. Just a quick kick around the key. They found Camparelli. And wasn't that a classic display of field kicking? Camparelli's past Earl Sporting. About 45 metres. It didn't go more than 10 feet above the ground. 
And it was an uh, absolute bullet as Tony Francis comes from the ground is replaced by Paul Williams. And as Paul Williams comes on, Earl Spalding at the opposite end of the ground is kicking for goal. He looks a bit nervous as he's lining up here, Earl. He's not bad on the snaps, but these set shots, but he, sh he should kick it from 20 metres directly in front. Bang, right through the middle for Carlton second. start to Carlton now with two quick goals. It was interesting to see where Spalding finished up with this one. He is playing centre-half forward so one may have imagined he would have been up there where Manton was, who's on a flank but he's actually elected to drop back right across the uh, full forward line and there you can see he's uh, just in tandem with Stephen Kernahan supplying a tall option deep in the square. Blues by two early goals. Sporting and Pierce, the goal kickers. Manson caught in the tackle. Free kick to Collingwood to McDonald. Short and wide. Williams has just come onto the ground for uh, Francis. Centering kick, a good one. Gives Rocker a chance. Got a little push. No free kick. Sexton's handball is good. Camparelli, who set up that last goal for Sporting. What a fine season he had last year as a rookie. Goes to centre wing. Christou takes his man on, gets away from Russell. He waits the handball perfectly to Heaver. Heaver to full forward. Kernahan gets set. Kelly with him. Kernahan a second chance. Could have handballed to Pierce. Goes to Manton, gets him. And Carlton are making their move early on Collingwood here today. One of the great problems when you're playing Carlton is that you must maintain possession when you go into your forward 50. Already we've seen Carlton now rebound the ball twice if this becomes a goal. When in fact it could well have been with better disposal into Collingwood's forward line. Set shots for them. Manton to go for and goals. The champions have flown away early. They have kick-started their season with three goals in the first seven minutes of this match. And here you see uh, Christo coming right into uh, the, the attacking half of the ground. Heaver just getting that ball to Kernahan. You can see there that Kernahan has got four or five inches on Craig Kelly, or at least uh, four or five centimetres. And Manton just in the right spot at the right time, being picked up by Nathan Buckley. So again, we have Justin Madden taking on Damien Mockhorst. Well, no one really got the decisive hit out. Could have been he's trying to crash his way through. Matthew Hogg goes in after it. Oh, it's willing in the clinches there. Scott Burns was in there, number 17, and Alex McDonald, the ex-Hawk, coming up with the ball. Now, Alex McDonald wasn't named uh, in the starting lineup, but he's come off the bench to pick up one of the most dangerous players in the AFL, who one of the great challenges for him this season will be uh, to operate with a tag, and that's Kudafidis. Scott Crow was caught. Here's Williams trying to get in a hand pass. Crow again, he's caught. He gets it further afield. Oh, Carlton are tough in there. Here's Camparelli, grabbed high. Could have been a free kick. Williams went in. There's Kudafidis with a quick hand pass. Oh, it's Willing in there. Madden doing well. Goes back to Madden. Madden has a set shot and chips it up towards Kernahan and Kelly. Still a chance for uh, Heaver. Now Pierce. Pierce is caught. Oh, back it comes to Buckley from Russell. And Nathan Buckley, plenty of time to steady and belt it out towards half back to Damien Monkhorst. Monkhorst. Very well done to Watson. Watson steadies, rings it in towards centre wing, and the mark has been taken by Crow. Made an impressive start, Crow. McGuan the target, he's got him. Still at centre wing. Dean brings him down. And I'm sure Tony Shaw will be pleased with the role that uh, Damien Monkhorst contributed there. Coming out of defence, Collingwood were looking for an option, and Moncourt sprinted wide to uh, supply a man alone. Orchard has it. Half forward, Rock at the target. Silvani with him, Sexton mopping up. Sexton's got the job on Gavin Brown today. Brown playing up forward, out of bounds, left forward pocket. Magpies need a goal. They're the kicks I'm talking about, Bruce, those... Uh pretty ordinary ones to Sav Rocket. They've got to be better than that and perhaps he's got to find a little bit more space. Patterson, who's a bit of a goal snap. Hooks it back. Good kick. That's a good effort by Patterson. It's where he made his mark in uh, his debut season last year. Came across as a 24-year-old but can kick a goal out of the pocket and the Maggies needed that one very, very badly. 
Well, he certainly earned that one because he was always going to uh, cop one after he kicked it. And here you see there, there's the uh, big bump coming, but he just snapped it round enough to get away from his opponent in Whitehead. Good goal to the, uh, the youngster. So three goals straight to one goal straight. If Matthew Hogg comes out of the centre. Oh, Pierce is looking dangerous down there. Johnny Hassel races after it, but it's a loose ball with Heaver. Still in the danger area as far as Collingwood are concerned. Kelly hooks it in, but it's a free kick over on his shoulder or in the back, whichever way you want to look at it. A free kick to Craig Kelly, former Norwood star, playing on a mate of his in Stephen Kernahan. Now he brings him to the centre of the ground. Madden should mark, and he does. Justin Madden doing very, very well early, Jared. Well, he was named on interchange, but it's not surprising that uh, the great uh, Carlton follower got the opportunity to start in the rug. Here's Kernahan at the back. Manton doing well on danger because Pierce will mark. 12 metres out from goal, and boy, I really think he is going to be a dangerous forward this year, Brad Pierce. The pace off the mark, Jared, is just so uh, electrifying. Well, Hassel did take the gamble there of just uh, starting 10 metres in front of Pierce. Unfortunately for him, the kick was a little bit long. And uh, Pierce is lining up for his uh, second goal. So 45 degree angle directly in front of him. He's hooked it slightly. Let's see what's happened. He's missed. A shocker. Oh, gee. David Parkin wouldn't be too pleased about that one. John Hassel's got some pretty good form coming up against uh, Brad Pierce in the Ansett Cup game where Collingwood just went down uh, by a couple of points. He really did take Pierce right out of the game. In fact, I think he was benched at one stage. Saw the Blues uh, warming up a moment ago. Change for Collingwood. Francis coming back on and Crow off. Had some touches early, Crow. Might be the pluck rule, that one. Two kicks, three handballs. We just saw Lynn and Allen and Murphy. He's just got a cut under his chin, Crow. Interesting having one of your best uh, midfielders kicking out from defence. Whilst he is an exceptional kick, uh, Nathan Buckley. It does mean that he's out of the play. He's going to be at least 60 or 70 metres away from the ball by the time he lets it go. Little one to himself, two bounces, three, still not running out of room now, let's lose, so he's got the ball almost to centre half forward, Hotton had a fair bit of it, couldn't take it, Patterson besieged by blue tacklers, Ratton at the bottom of the pack, Madden off the ground, or off through the air really, then Manson has been good early, Rice uses that, oh no, he should have got it to camp already, couldn't, right, this game's starting to even up now after Carlton jumped Collingwood, Madden had to get down, just to... Uh, found himself in an awkward situation with Collingwood players around him. Camparelli goes to ground and it'll be Brian Sheehan to come in and bounce the football between centre wing and half forward. What about uh, Crow? Just a little nick as a dipper. You there, Dipper? It's mate. Hello, Just a, yes. a little, little nick as a for Crow. Yeah. Under the chin and also uh, Tony Francis came off before with a uh, cut forehead but he's back on the ground now. Thanks, mate. So uh, Collingwood go forward through Watson, oh, almost thrown away there by the Collingwood player and Mark Orchard, up by calling play on, here's Dean Rice, hooking it back, Spalding sets himself, over the back is Manton, he's doing very well up there, the Magpies get out of trouble, this is Buckley, Buckley on the left, here's a beautiful kick, look at the pressure being put on by Dean, Orchard jumped high, here's Whitehead, oh very desperate play by Whitehood, Chris Do. here's Hickmott, around the corner, oh, some courage needed. Watson took on two Carlton players and forced it over the line. So it's on centre wing. Carlton lead 3 1 19 to Collingwood. One straight goal. So Mulcourst versus Madden. Oh, I did that well, Harry. Madden. Oh, a bit of a ball. Great play. Now towards half forward. Could be a free kick here. Should be Carlton's. Oh, no, it's the other way. The Buckley. A bit of holding on against Madden. Starting to get touches Buckley off half-back. So Manton, his man's also done well. McGuan the target. He's got it. He'll try and run off Williams. One bounce. Diesel after him. Stayed inside Diesel so he couldn't come in himself. McGuan off hands. Dean just pushed it out cleverly. Gave Kernahan a chance. He's having a run. Hogg had to take a hip and shoulder. Ratten to Whitehead. It's exciting football through the centre. Whitehead takes Williams on. Kicks to half-forward. Good mark by Rice. Stood his ground. He's 60 or 55 metres, I guess, from goal. Pierce in the goal square. Williams running for him now. Pierce makes a lead. Half-hearted, really. Rice just sizing the options. Goes to Spalding, gets him. 
was never going to miss. There was a big hole there, and Sporting ran into it. And the Duke can kick his second. It was amazing. Kernahan was fighting for the ball uh, down the, the full back area about two minutes ago, Bruce. They cover some territory. I think Craig Kelly's uh, role will be to try and run Kernahan as far away from the goal square as possible, and he did it pretty well then. Sporting to go for his second. From 45 metres out, good kick again. Two to Sporting in the opening term. Carlton 4-1, Collingwood a goal. Good start from the Blues. Uh, once again, coming from deep in defence. Carl Collingwood, I think, are playing well through uh, midfield. They've just got to get uh, more system when they go into the forward line. They've currently got uh, Trent Hot playing centre half forward he's being picked up by Dean Hickmont's got Orchard Carlton by 19 points this is a pile up in the middle of the ground but uh, certainly Carlton look a very very good side and uh, just looking across here it looks to see Ange Christop way down the half forward line Yes, he's dragged, uh, he dragged uh, himself down into the forward line. He's got Scott Russell as an opponent. Well, here's a quick kick coming down towards Harpak. This is Andrew Shawbel. Shawbel transfers play here. Good, good effort. Finds Alex McDonald. McDonald has got the loose man going here in Montcourt. And Damien Montcourt, this is where they're going to do something. On the Williams. The McPies go forward. The chip passes on. away from Silvani. Well, the, ex the, ex the, the disposal of uh, Paul Williams, as we know, is uh, first class. And he did start on the bench. I'm sure Tony Shaw would have just wanted the heat to come off the game. But unfortunately for him, uh, there was such a build-up. That was never to be the case in the first quarter. It would probably settle down midway through the third. An important kick here for Seth Rocker. I'll say it is, and uh, he needs to get a goal early on Silvani as he kicks. As he drifted it in. No, he's just drifted it to the right. And, oh, gee, those, those kicks early in the game on a good play like Silvani are very important for a full forward. Well, you can speak from experience, Mecca. Over 800 well, goals it just, yourself, it, it no. gives you that just gives you that confidence, and particularly when a guy wears you like a glove, Bruce. And Chris do now uh, deep in defence. He generally is either the kicker or the one that the ball goes to uh, from a point. Advantage given after uh, Moncourse, Sport Madden, went to Camparelli. Good take by Russell. He should chip it to McDonald. He does. He's getting a few touches onto Brown. Shorty, yes, gets him now. Gavin Brown, first time in the match. He's got hot and all alone. He's got to find him. He should. It's a poor kick by Brown. He really should have kept it much lower. Advantage given to Collingwood after Hotton was interfered with, and no real advantage. They're in the pocket. Watson handles back to right, spins, turns, second time, a third time. Could he kick a wonderful goal from there? Goes for it and misses it to behind. But I really think Brown should have hit Hotton on the chest from there. It was a bit of an up and under, which uh, had a bit of a hang time uh, using gridiron speak. And it did give uh, the Carlton player enough time just to drop back. Well, Another that, opportunity wasted. Heaver's got the ball, but uh, it actually deserved a goal. The play by Graham Wright, that was fantastic. Heaver, the centre wing. Madden at the back. No mark. Kudafidi, very, very quick. Saxton, Spalding. Oh, this is a good build-up. Hogg, Kernahan from 50 metres. Steve Kernahan, an absolute shocker. Straight across his body and out in the full. The 50 metre offensive line has an interesting psychological uh, impact on players. I think anybody that gets the ball around that mark thinks they're a chance. And often they kick it from the 50 line instead of running deep into the forward line as Kernahan had the chance to then. Well, Mickey mcguire has gone for one of his characteristic runs. Gives it to Kelly. Here's Johnny Hassel. This looks good for the Magpies. The lead is on. Rocker, good. yes. Great kick, good lead. And he must kick this one. Great work from Johnny Hassel there, coming in right from defence. He's playing in the back pocket and just exposing uh, the Carlton back line there by really getting themselves uh, 
in a loose man position. And well, McGuan too, sorry Peter, McGuan having the nouse to, to run away as he did and creating a loose man in the back pocket. And that's what Rocker must do on Silvani, must lead all day, not wrestle with him. Silvani's too good at that. Sab Rocker, normally a very good kick. He drives this ball and puts it through for a goal. important goal that one early in the piece to the big full forward and the magpies claw back well here's mickey mcguan i wonder how long he'll be able to continue to run he's uh he's not a don't think a naturally gifted uh long distance runner but he is a worker and he's a courageous worker that is just magnificent play and a great finish there by big savaloy who needed that one for his confidence Free kick in the centre, and it looks as if it's going to Carlton. It is. Madden to Williams. It's 4-1 to 2-2, the score at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Williams has kicked towards Spalding. Got a good bounce in the end. Hooks it back cleverly. Pierce front spot, normally good in this situation. Shawbel's been OK early. He's got to get rid of it now. Does. Kernahan was on to him. Kudafidi's quite early, but he's a great player. Chris Duke. Manson getting kicks on Buckley. At 50, quickly onto it, goes to Sporting, good kick, gave him every chance and he's got it. Well, Carlton, no doubt, are trying to expose Collingwood's uh, lack of height in defence. That's why they've also got Glenn Manton down there. And they're pushing Spalding down deep into uh, attack many times. Kernahan making the lead, Spalding crisscrossing and supplying the extra marking option. And on that occasion, he was up against John Hassel, who had no chance whatsoever to spoil. It's probably been a while since uh, the Dukes kicked three goals in a quarter. And uh, we're still waiting. Misses. Thanks, Jared. 4-2 to 2-2. 26-14. to 14. Always happens, doesn't it? But uh, he's very important sporting. Gee, they've missed two sitters, haven't they? That one and uh, Brad Pierce from right in close. And he's normally a sharp shooter, Pierce. Over 50 last year. Russell away. So Russell to Hassan. Chip passes on. Watson to Buckley. Highly skilled player, Buckley. Stops and raw. Look at that kick to McDonald. What a beautiful kick from a standing start. So Alex McDonald on centre wing. Now he's bringing it in. Oh, a dangerous pass to Russell. Right court. That could be holding the ball. Yes. He had every chance to get rid of it. Now, Kudafidis kicks it wide. Has Williams got the pace to go with McGuan? No. McGuan gets there first. They're trying to exploit the lack of pace by Greg Williams. Oh, good play, Camparelli. Oh, very, very good play to Pierce. Then Williams. That is magnificent play from Camparelli originally. Here's Manton. And outstanding team play by Carlton to get it to Rice. Kernahan on the lead and Pierce. Oh, look at the, I mentioned his pace, Jarrett. Off the mark, he'd be as quick as any player in the competition. Well, if you've got the starters going, you're always going to get a, a jump on the opposition. And Pierce knew exactly when he was going to lead there. He left John Hassel in his wake. In a sprint, I would think Hassel would just about go with him. But as always, the defender doesn't know when the forward is going to lead. And you only need a two metre break if the kick's good enough. So Brad Pierce for his second. 40 metres. Oh, that looks good. That's a goal. So two cold goals to this dangerous forward pocket player, and the Blues kick clear by 18 points. Well, what we were promised uh, when Tony Shaw was made coach of Collingwood was a very competitive unit. And I think we're seeing that today, despite the scoreline. The Pies very competitive throughout the ground, just haven't really converted their opportunities just at the moment. Crow getting ready to come back on for Collingwood. 5-2 to 2-2. Carlton lead by three goals. Ratten winning it out of the centre. Pierce. Two early goals to him. Heaver's handball. Chris Two. Back to Heaver. Ran out of room in the end, but he had an option. Williams clever. Rice well played right. Just snared it. Russell. Just a little dummy. And then under pressure. Kicks it out wide. Dean. Back today for Carlton. Missed the pre-season matches with a hand injury. To Kudafidis to Dean. And is that off Buckley? Out on the fall it is. It'll be Christou's kick. So things just not going for Buckley there. Bit stiff.
short Chris do. Ratten, the best and fairest at the club last year. Goes short again. Manton. A little one to Whitehead. Hooks it back cleverly to Pierce. And the gaps are starting to open now. Quick movement by Carlton. And Pierce, such a great option. When you've got one of the best ever in Kernahan. And this man is so different and provides such variety up forward, but is in his own way almost as potent as Kernahan. Goes for it. It's close. Misses. Two goals, two. To Pierce. Once again, John has selecting to try and start 10 metres in front of Brad Pierce. And I'm just not sure it's going to work because uh, you have to turn your back from the player onto the ball at some stage and you do lose him. Kelly, he'll have to kick it now. He's got the warning. Now he brings it out to halfback. He's looking for Andrew Shawball. Good mark by the young fella at halfback. He's got his hands full with Sporting. But that was an excellent mark. Mickey Maguire, GDs, they're exploiting now. Uh, Greg Williams' lack of pace is getting a mile away from him. But one towards half forward and Gavin Brown. Was that holding the man? No, says the umpire. Orchard in after it. So is Hickmott. Out it comes to Ratton. Best and fairest for Carlton last year. Chris Dew playing very, very well. Back to Whitehead. He went without it. Kicked away by Orchard. Here's Chris Dew. Oh, clever. Very clever play, Chris Dew. On to Silvani. And Steve Silvani races away from fullback. Brings it to centre wing. He had no one to give it to, so he went for the safety of the boundary line. season again last year as it was the year before for Silvani. Graham Wright was a player that came off for uh, Scott Crow 5-3 to 2-2 two, two the scoreline. Madden having a big first term. Was touched off the boot so Heva went on. Whitehead paved away. Goes to half forward to Pierce. They're so clean Carlton when they go forward. Hassel did pretty well I think there. He wanted to hold Pierce down because Pierce would have been able to come off him there with pace and he was able to keep him on the ground and stop Pierce recovering in a hurry. 33 to 14. Sporting a couple of goals, Pierce a couple for uh, Carlton in the opening term. Rock has got one for Collingwood. Kernahan worked under the ball. Hassel got a high tackle. He'll get a free kick at half back. Collingwood have been bringing it wide and looking for uh, running options and trying then to set up once they get to about centre wing. Hassel goes to uh, Hotton. Front spot on Dean, clean, grab. She took a long time to get his left foot to the ball. It was a lazy old kick. Hog off the uh, ground. High tackle gets a free kick. Burns was all over him. They're, they're umpiring very well, Bruce. They're, they're not missing much, are they? No, spot on early, that's for sure. Three of the most experienced umpires out there. And why not for Carlton Collingwood as the siren sounds to complete the opening term. And as uh, Jarrett said, Collingwood competitive in a sense, Carlton jumped them early, but the signs are there that the Blues are away to a good start at 5-3 to 2-2. Two, two. Doesn't waste the ball. Surprisingly, Kernahan also hasn't had a free shot at goal. There's a direct link between the amount of times Williams gets it and Kernahan. Start of the second quarter, the Melbourne Cricket Ground, 5-3 to 2-2, two, two. Carlton to the left of the screen. They lead by 19 points. Paul Williams out of the centre. Didn't get it very far, only to Kutafidis. Not many touches for Kutafidis so far. Kick to half forward, Williams did it beautifully. He'll give it to Kernahan. He'll have a chance now. Sticks, kicks it back in the Pierce direction. What's happening? Is it coming back? It's a free kick, is it against uh, Collingwood on Williams, I think. So the advantage is going to go to Kernahan, who had a running shot from about 50 metres out of the opening quarter and kicked it out of bounds on the fall. And Kelly and McGuan asking Chris Mitchell what it's all about. getting it to Kernahan and Kernahan now to take the shot from 45 metres out. It's close. It looks good. It's a goal. That's Greg Williams and Mickey McGuan. And again, uh, Jerry, we spoke on talking footy to Stephen Kernahan during the week about those floaters that go through. That wasn't perfectly constructed by the champion, but it was a goal. No, he could never be accused of uh, making the ball look good through the air, but he does get the job done, and not surprising when Greg Williams gets the ball. Fellow 
uh, most likely to be on the end of it uh, in the forward line will be Stephen Kernahan. You know all about that when Williams gets the ball, Jared. Good to be in their vicinity. So here's Madden and Monkhorst. Madden with that big left hand. Look at Williams. He was grabbed. That was Ratton with a quick kick out towards centre wing. The race is on. Heaver is a very clever little player. Taps it out well to Hickmott. Danger here for Collingwood because Cooter feet is. Oh, he missed the mark. Then he went to tap it on. In went Francis on Hickmott. And uh, Collingwood got out of jail there because uh, Carlton had two or three loose men. Adrian Hickman, there's Kudafidis, a bit of pushing and shoving going on. Great athlete he is, Anthony Kudafidis. And by Brian Sheehan, very experienced. Kudafidis jumping over the top. Here's Williams on, look at that, the Kudafidis, tremendous play, Williams. He bends it back, Kudafidis, in the direction of Pierce. Well played by Hassel, the race away, knocks it on. He's got some support now by uh, Shane Watson. Watson cleverly around to the big fella, Monkhorst. Is the tackle back to Hassel? The advantage paid it would have been a free kick to Collingwood and a nice mark taken up there by Trent Hotton. Hotton way out at half forward. The lead is on. He's got to come back. Collingwood supporters right like this. He's got to kick out over the mark. Stephen Pitt onto the ground for Collingwood. He's been picked up by Michael Sexton, who started the game on Gavin Brown. Chris Dew's now gone on to Brown. So Trent Hotton, they're giving. Uh, of room and there are leads coming from everywhere here oh that's a poor kick and the mark has been taken by Hogg Hogg's got it Buckley's moved into the centre now for Collingwood Hickmont at half pack measures the kick to Kernahan good kick great mark Blues are looking good at the start of this second turn Kernahan at uh, 60 metres Sporting provides a lead. And they just keep moving around in the Carlton forward line until they find an opening. It's going to Madden. Interesting. Montcourse with him. Had a fair bit of it. Pierce to do the roving at 50 metres. Caught on his wrong side. Then almost disorientated. Almost frozen at Pierce. Collingwood's free kick. It'll come back. And Pierce was trying to find his right, uh, his left foot. He kept on being forced onto his right foot by good defenders of work by the Collingwood players. His handball options are uh, dried up. Kick should come to uh, Williams from Hassel, it does. Paul Williams at centre wing. His kick's a good one. Hotton, Dean, courageous, will get a free kick. That was magnificent play by Dean. Goes short to Hickmont. He's a beauty, Dean, isn't he? Hickmont to uh, centre wing. Kudafidis now having an influence. He's hard to go with all day, Kudafidis. Kernahan the target. Oh, great stretch by the big man. And is he going to play on? He does. He was in two minds. Goes to the goal square. Sporting at the back. Front man, Shawville. Away goes Hassel. Well, they did that well, Collingwood. Under Russell. Russell coming straight down the centre of the ground. Backs himself in and then belts it long. Oh, good mark running back with the flight. Very good mark by Stephen Pitt. I thought it was going to clear the pack, but he stretched the hands out and took a very good running mark. Justin Murphy running onto the ground for his first appearance for Carlton in the regular season. Pierce, the one coming off too, by the way. So Stephen Pitt just on the ground. A big kick coming up for him. His first AFL game from 40 metres. Kicks and has missed. So bad luck to uh, Stephen Pitt. Justin Murphy, former Tiger, on the ground. As we said, four goals the margin. Now, low trajectory drop putt. Here's Dean. Kudafidis. Oh, gee, he's quick and skillful. Here's Dean coming through the middle. Brings it down towards the pocket. At the back is Kernahan. Will it sit for him? He taps it back into the danger area and gathers about uh, 20 metres and will be a throw-in. And one of the thinking behind a move uh, from the Carlton coaching panel by, for taking Pierce off. He's kicked uh, two goals, too. And probably one mistake only he's made. Well, that's what I'm considering. Was it uh, was he dragged for a mistake or was it just to get Justin Murphy out onto the ground? Right forward pocket, Blues in attack. Wrong end for Collingwood at the moment. They're uh, under pressure. Just hanging on. 
by a thread, you feel, at the moment. This game could uh, really break for them. Shaw Bulls kick ricochets away. Rice was after it. Rice had it taken off him. Russell, I should say. Spalding's kick across the front is a behind. He plays that uh, defensive role so well as a forward, doesn't he, Spalding? He's able to smother, block, keep the football in with pressure. Tremendous, he is. It's been such a good pickup from Melbourne, where he played over 100 league games. He's getting close to 100 now for Carlton. Really, he, he, he was a malign player at Melbourne. He was a better player than Melbourne supporters gave him credit for. Great contester he is. As we've seen Nathan Buckley kicking it to himself. And now he's going to kick it long. He is a beautiful kick of a football. Look at that. Out the Burns. Burns all oh, very slow to get rid of it. Put the pressure on. It's free kick though to Collingwood. Brown pulled up short then. I hope he hasn't done a hamstring. He looks a bit sore. But he's good enough to go and give it to Monkhorst. McGuan's made the lead. Good play by Monkhorst. He found Mickey McGuan in the forward pocket. Now McGuan's going to centre this. Oh, is it a mark? No, they've mucked it up. Right hit. The Hog. Oh, that's bad play by Collingwood. Hogwood. And he, in turn, has kicked it straight to Scotty Russell. Russell to the pocket. Have another shot, Mickey. That's not Mickey. This time it's uh, Paul Williams, in fact in this forward pocket taking the mark and I think he should have a shot. No, he's going for the short one as well. And he has eventually found Mick McGuire. Now let's hope he has a shot. He's one of the most uh, accurate shots at goal from any position, either running or standing shot as we see here. So I expect this one to split the big ones. So Mick McGuire, one of Collingwood's uh, very, very good players. Their top players in their side when he's fit, but he's had a lot of groin problems over the last couple of years. So he's taking a lot of time over this one. A stuttering run up, as you can see. Oh, he's hooked it. He didn't look confident at all coming in. It wasn't a fluent run up, Jared. Well, he hasn't had much practice at it, I suppose, but uh, nevertheless, Mick McGuire is really having an impact on this game deep into the forward line, starting from defence and creating some dramas for David Parker. Silvani short, gets to Dean, back to Silvani. He's got a bit of time now, uh, Stephen. Comes away from half-back, nice kick to Ratton. Carlton travelling well. Williams quickly on, Manton back to Williams. Great build-up, so much confidence. Pull up right hand, ball towards uh, Sexton. Brown going with him, pressures him out of play. Michael Sexton and Gavin Brown, the Collingwood captain, is playing very deep today in the forward line. Just looked to, as Peter McKenna said a moment ago, as if he had a hamstring strain after taking a mark, but fortunately he's still there. Free kick against one course to Madden, and the advantage is given. It goes to Ratton, Ratton to full forward, or Kernahan cleaned up. Murphy goes for goal. just at the right time, Macca. But why wasn't this a free kick to uh, Stephen Cannon? Stephen Kernan, that one's beyond me. But I think in about five or six years, we'll be looking back and saying, this fellow is the one that got away from the Tigers. Seven four to two four. The main scoreboards uh, messed that up. They got a six four to three four at the, the MCG here. Now, Buckley, the long kick. Rocker and Silvani, Rocker underneath it, knocked away by Dean, he's a real pro. Here's a chance for Stephen Pitt, good play by Pitt. Paul Williams couldn't get back, Camparelli did it very, very well. Hickmott in after it as well. And Collingwood, they just don't finish the, finish it off as well as Carlton do, Jared. No, under this sort of pressure, they just haven't got the class with foot disposal as we've seen uh, Carlton have uh, over the year, last couple of years but then again Carlton have had a lot more experience of playing in these high pressure games half forward Moncourse over the top the punch away by the Blues and again by Camparelli Whitehead they want the boundary line forced over Dipper down on the boundary line a report Dipper well Brad Pierce was just about to come on the ground and Justin Murphy kicked that goal and Brad Pierce has been told to sit down again 
What did Dennis Lilly say? Never give a mug a chance. Mug in inverted commas, of course, because they don't play first-class sport, but uh, Murphy sees the opportunity. Madden out of the centre, out of the uh, throw-in. Now Russell getting a few touches. A float of the goal square. Silvani and Rocco, that's in that uh, wrestling situation that Peter McKenna said that Rocco won't win out on in the long run. And uh, Silvani, the past master at that, what a job he has to do on the great full forwards. Orchard about to come on for Collingwood, and Allen will come on and relieve Madden very shortly. Heaver attacked it hard, Hogg tried one off the ground, Francis first touch and hardly effective. As Camparelli at halfback with pace, runs away, kicks the ball to centre wing, right to the target. Good spoil by Hassel, taken by Monkhorst. So Monkhorst, the chip pass, and he finds uh, Patterson. Uh, Patterson, about 70 metres out from goal. Justin Madden's gone back to help out Silvani. Real cat and mouse game going up the other end. Uh, McGuan running 100 yards away from Williams, and then Williams immediately going to the other side of the ground. Now, here's a short one again. I went for Buckley. They're mucking around with it, Collingwood. Buckley, a quick kick on the left foot. Chance for Francis. Oh, free kick, Tony Francis. He was grabbed very, very high. And the little magpie rover will kick from about 25 to 30 metres on a 45-degree angle, and they need it. Francis has been very, very quiet. Matthew Hogg has been... Uh, and Watson looks very badly hurt here. I don't like the look of this at all. That looks, looks like, like a string, that one. That looks like a hamstring, and it looks a bad one, the way he's moving. So, bad luck to show... Now, Collingwood needs this badly. Tony Francis must kick it. Well, it looks pretty good. He looks happy, and it's a goal. So, that's his first... Preparation for Tony Francis, and it's not surprising that he's just struggling to uh, get a hold of the football. But it is important that when you are battling for possessions, you're being uh, shadowed by a blanket like Matthew Hogg, which makes it uh, incredibly difficult to get uh, a lot of possessions. That when you do get a shot at goal, you've got to make it count. If you can bob up with three, you've done your job. Heaver out of the centre. Come by four after Francis has gone. Sporting, high ball, Kernahan bouncing, was it touched? Kernahan gets a foot to it, but Kelly did well. It was a real contest, wasn't it? Put his hand there bravely, Craig Kelly, and forced the behind. Those little things, not so little on that occasion, do add up. Look at that. Great shot by a cameraman. Oh, a dust up behind the play, Williams and Kelly. Williams went down. and shoving went on and that it was uh, well it's might cost Collingwood a goal put it that way well Russell was away wasn't he uh, from full back and uh, I missed it completely man. Well, well with three umpires it's hard it's hard to get away with anything these days Camparelli and Francis see they're so important these incidents in terms of the turnaround Collingwood trying to stay in touch Kelly uh, spitting chips. Well, I think it all started with a bit of mouthing off, as uh, often goes on in uh, AFL football, and then a bit of a push and shove match. Well, it's been reported for sure, hasn't it? Well, it's going to cost them. A, it's going to cost them a goal too. That's the worst part of it. So uh, Greg Williams will kick from directly in front for his first, and he might have missed this. No, yes, he has missed it, and the Collingwood surprise let him know, including Mickey. She ruled that off there. Blues have missed a few, haven't they? Pierce at the other end in the first quarter. This will be interesting, McGuan. Couple of bounces. Collingwood stirred up now. McGuan inside 50. Pitt went for the fly. Well done, Rocker. To Williams, to Brown, a goal. This is a big turnaround. Well, from William 
comes at point blank range to put the Blues five in front. It goes down the other end and suddenly it's a three goal game. They had to really get that one, Collingwood. Uh, psychologically as well as on the scoreboard, it was important. Smart handball here from Williams just to uh, allow Brown to run in for an easy one. But when the momentum is swinging to and fro, it is at the present time, they can be so critical. Worth more than just six points, that goal, I'm sure, on the scoreboard. Now, as we go back to the centre, as Bruce said, it's a two-goal turnaround. It's, it's not one because Williams really, you should not miss from 20 metres out directly in front. Carlton have missed about four of them. Now, it's shuffled out here to Scott Crow. This might lift the McPoyce at goal. On the Buckley, he bombs it in long. Rocker and Silvani. Good play by Silvani. Uh, Collingwood supporters thought it was a free kick. I think it was pretty legitimate. Here's Allen. In towards half foot. Punched away from Spalding. That was good play by the Magpies. I think they've lifted a little bit here. Well done by Patterson. Patterson to Russell. Russell hooks it around the corner. Sexton. That's a free kick actually. Down the ground. Though. And it is down the ground and it will go there to Paul Williams or Gavin Brown. It's Brown to take it. Now he won't make the distance from there. Now leads are coming. Rocker can find it hard to get away from Silvani. Brown still looking for the short one. Orchard trying to sneak across. And he's determined to pass this. The Carlton players are very aware of it. Well played Madden. Sexton. Madden I should have said, not Madden. Now there's Orchard in towards the half forward area. Oh, if they could get one here, Collingwood would be on. Here's Hickmott. They're working hard. Orchard grabbed when he didn't have it. Well, he could have got a free kick then, uh, Mark Orchard. And the umpire missed it. Peter Dean picking himself up. One of a number of uh, blue players who played in two premierships. A fair way apart in uh, 87 and 95. 7 6 4 4. This game tightening. Murphy, Brown, still with Brown, is suddenly having some sort of an impact. He was very quiet early. He's kicked a goal and had a couple of touches. But they were exposed there, Collingwood, uh, due to the one-dimensional nature of their forward line. Every Carlton player knew that they were going to try to get it to, to Rocker. They should have been able to get somebody free because of that. Hotton goes, Pitt, Hogg, brought to ground. Good hands by the big fella, Allen. Crow broke the tackle, kicks back to the forward pocket, and bouncing, still not out. Chris Du concedes a behind. Collingwood up to 4-5, the Blues at 7-6. Good play by Chris Du, when in doubt, he had to come back into the fray, it can cost you a, a goal, he elected to go for the point. And you'll hear the woof as he kicks this, he is a beautiful kick, Chris Du, there it is, and look at that. Out to Allen, he had two, two options there, but it's a loose ball with Crow. the mark got paid, players. Dean waits. Oh, he's a courageous player, Dean. Waited underneath that. No fear whatsoever, this player. He's a real pro. He chips it into Murphy. Danger here for Collingwood because Murphy is clear. Leads coming thick and fast. Kernahan. He leans back. Almost takes the mark. Madden rolls it. Kicks it and puts it through for a valuable goal. side in the competition that can take the ball from a kick out straight down the middle of the ground and create a goal better than Carl. Justin Murphy getting involved in this one. He'd be pleased to be on the ground in such a, a big occasion. And just another exhibition of a player coming from another club and making good his chances. Glenn Manton, now a premiership player. So Peter Dean also responsible there with a courageous mark. The Blues 8-6 to 4-5, 54-29. Uh, Allen out of the centre. They've won it there clearly, uh, Carlton, whether it be Madden or Allen. Touch, so play on. Madden, uh, Manton a bit stiff. Handball by Russell was good. Got to Patterson. Patterson inside 50. Has it been paid? Well, we've said twice today, Peter, that uh, he's had big kicks, Sav Rocker. And this is another one... Uh, Actually, Hodden probably touched it just before Rocker, but this is the man that you'd want with the ball at 45 metres. He is a beautiful kick, actually, and he kicks a long, long way, uh, Rocker. So, big one here. Just, to, just keep it tight. The Blues are four in front. 
but the intensity's there from Collingwood, so they just need to make the most of every opportunity. Good-looking kick. It's got it. So what looked a, a slow start, Jared for Rocker is slowly building a couple of goals now. He's on the way. It's 8-6 to 5-5. Five, five. And, we, and we must... And we must remember in the Ansett Cup this happened. Carlton jumped away and then they came back at them, Jared, didn't they, Collingwood? A little bit of deja vu there on that occasion. Rocker didn't uh, really get into the groove. But today we are seeing him grow in confidence as the game progresses. Starting to become very dangerous. So the centre bounce, very important. Allen is beaten by uh, Hotton on that occasion. There's Hickmott, a quick kick to the half forward line. Rice, cleverly done by Rice. That was brilliant play to Kudafides. Here's Camparelli going for goal. Will it clear the pack? No, it won't. Kelly went back and was the mark paid. It was paid, and so it should have been. Uh, Kelly getting the hoots of the Carlton supporters. Uh, Craig Kelly, rough and tough, brings it to the half-back line. A vital ball, this one. Oh, he did that well, uh, Trent Hotton. Here's Rice. Oh, he lost it. Patterson, still a loose ball. There's Allen in after it. Well played by Burns. Here's Buckley. Scotty Russell. Centre wing. That's excellent football to go inside. To Burns. On to Patterson. The lead is on. Rocker! Oh boy, this could be a turnaround. Rocker will kick from 45 metres for his third. And you can see he's must lead Jared on uh, Silvani. And he has to come up the ground uh, like he has done on this occasion because they are breaking down across half forward Collingwood. Uh, Mark Richardson, a late withdrawal from the Collingwood side. He would have started there. But you saw Nathan Buckley backtrack just prior to uh, getting the ball down there. The reason was that there was no options available upfield. In the finish, it worked out well. Severio Rocker from just inside 50. He might have hooked this one. He has. Trying to get that extra distance. He wouldn't be happy with that one, the big fella. A very promising full forward. Still 18 points to margin as Chris Doom brings it out to Dean. Brad Pierce back on for the Blues. Dean back to Chris Doom. Centre wing. Buckley gets a free against Kudafidis. Two of the young guns in the competition. Tries a torpedo punt. Doesn't quite get it, but gets it a long way. Silvani. No mark paid. Had a fair bit of it. Hickmont wants the boundary line. Gets it. But Collingwood right back in this at 5 6 to 8 6. Left forward pocket attacking. Tony Lynn about to come on for Carlton for the first time. A goal by Collingwood before half time would just tighten this match right up. Rocker. Patterson. Back to Crow. Tries to turn Camparelli inside out, then centres the ball not well. Kudafidis comfortably. It's a poor kick uh, by Crow. Kudafidis away. At half back goes to centre wing. Kernahan right up the ground. Kelly with him. Sporting trying to run off him. Good tackle by Sporting. Shaw ball. Missed his man, but Patterson. Russell's been very good. Short, good one to Brown. This is where Collingwood is set, trying to set it up. Rockers at full forward, now leading. Brown goes to him, kicks it to Rocker, gets him. He's a long way out, he nearly kicked the distance if he really hoofed it. He's going to go now and go for it. Let's lose. It's a great looking kick by Rocker. It's close. Oh, good flight in the back though by Allen. He's a long kick, isn't he? He's going to go all the way, Mac. It was like one of your famous drop punts. <laughs> it was just going and going and going forever. Oh, it was 8-6 to 5-7. Well, he's one guy on the side that does kick the ball a country mile. He certainly does. To half back. Camparelli. Rice is now off the ground. Tony Lynn on fresh legs. So Camparelli brings it all. Bad bounce. Bratton, though, hooks it out. He's got the running player in Whitehead. This is where Carlton are good on the rebound. Over to Allen. Back to Whitehead. Oh, danger for Collingwood. He can run right in here. Whitehead, he elects to kick long. At the back, Pearson Sporting. No mark. The ball hits the deck. Oh, Carlton plays going very hard. I think it was Lynn in there, wasn't it? Let's have a look. I think it was Tony Lynn. Yes, it was. And uh, the umpire, Brian Sheehan, says it's my ball. He's going to bounce it in front of the Carlton goal. Carlton are very good in this situation. These bounces 30 metres out. Let's see what they do. Shaw ball over the back. Williams, a free kick. Straight around the head. He made the ball his objective and he got 
got the free kick. And Carlton well, Champion will get up a vital kick coming up here. Some irony there with uh, Kelly, the high tackle, and uh, Williams won't want to miss for a second time. I think I'll certainly let him know if he does miss it. Well, lots of pressure uh, from the crowd coming here for Greg Williams, but he's been in this position before, and he'd be about a two-to-one favourite to kick this. Well, Williams kicking for his first. Oh, he's put it right through the middle. Well, a handy one, that one to the Blues. 9-6 plays 5-7. It's two-to-one on favour, I should have said, in uh, race and parlance, uh, Maka, but Greg Williams is pretty used to uh, copying the stick from the crowd. And he's also pretty experienced at uh, returning the favour. Here we see the rather crude tackle from Craig Kelly. And it will be a nervous night for all Collingwood supporters on Monday because they won't want to lose another tall defender. Melbourne, next week. 9-6-5-7. Williams with the goal. 60-37, deep into the second quarter. Buckley doing the ruck work against Allen. Gee. Murphy. Kudafidis. Lynn creating havoc now. The Blues again as they go to full forward. Kernahan, well done, Kelly. A good mark. Sweeps a handle. Wright has been quiet. Gets it on to McDonald. This running game, Russell's been a part of it throughout. A third bounce. And a fourth. Patterson inside. Gets him now. Has to get rid of it. He's gone. Holding the football. Had to reflex the handle to watch it. And didn't. Hickmont was all over him. Collingwood now really have only got uh, two tall fellows out on the ground. And it's okay to run the ball, but when the pressure's so great, it's uh, a great relief occasionally to have someone to mark it for you. Well, they're off and running Collingwood with Hassel. Good team play on the McGuan. Mickey McGuan, he loves a run. Oh, can he kick a goal and emulate his great goal from the past? Oh, courage shown by Orchard. The umpire won't. Is he paying the mark? He is paying the mark. I think it's going to water, or he might have paid the free kick. Let's have a look. It might be a free kick to Brown. Yes, against Sexton, I think. Yeah. Now, the pass is onto the pocket, and he's found Buckley. Well, they have to continue to chip it round because there isn't anybody of any note down there to take a big, high screamer. We know that uh, Sam Rocker is a tall fellow, but he takes most of his marks out in front on the chest. Now Buckley is a very talented player. Well, he's chipping it across to Patterson and or to David Parker. And wouldn't like that. See a man unattended close to goal. And Stephen Patterson, one of the many South Australians that have come to the AFL, will kick from, well, it's still not an easy kick, 45 degree angle, but only about uh, 25, 30 metres out. A vital kick coming up. Patterson lays back, kicks it high. Did he sneak it in? He looks happy. Yes, it's a goal. So Patterson has kicked his second, and the Magpies hanging in there. Well, Collingwood's still hanging on there. Uh, certainly Chuck trying some unusual tactics. I'm not sure uh, they can continue to go with uh, Nathan Buckley in the ruck. We're going to have to find somebody else. And as we look here, uh, Trent Hotton has come in for this one. Because it'll be just a straight giveaway if uh, a Ruck Rover going up against any of these tall dinosaurs. So that goal for Patterson, more than handy on the siren. The margin at quarter time was 19 points. It's now 17. It's been a really entertaining game. Kelly looked uh, obvious that he had his number taken in the opening half. Incident that most of us didn't see with Greg Williams resulted in a free kick. And uh, Williams missed that one, but he got one later when uh, Kelly and Defit McGuan's influence. Well, I think he's been uh, very good, uh, Mick McGuan, on a limited preparation. He couldn't have really uh, done much more. I'm sure Tony Shaw, who really laid the law down to uh, Mick McGuan when he took over as coach, would be very pleased with the way that he has uh, not only exploited Greg Williams' lack of pace, but he's also kept Williams relatively tight. Williams had uh, a number of handballs in that quarter, but for him, his influence hasn't been as great. But Collingwood will go into the half-time huddle uh, relatively confident. They realise that they're going to have to play an unusual type of game, a possession game, if they're to beat Carlton. 
But at the present time, uh, Carlton looks just to have a little bit too much class going into the forward line for the Magpies. Half time at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Carlton a 9 6. Collingwood's on the stage for Carlton and Collingwood. Huge crowd here, big match, 9 6 6 7. Maggie's to the left of screen. First goal vital here. What a difference there'll be. It'll either be 10 to 6 or 9 to 7. Ball, they cry out, the Collingwood fans. Brian Sheehan runs in and says that Glenn Manton didn't have enough time to get rid of the football. Very good decision. Umpiring has been good. Madden has won most of the rucks to Williams. McDonald runs him down, but Williams gets a good kick away. Russell with him, uh, Camparelli, out of play, left forward pocket. And of course, the obvious move... Uh for Greg Williams was to go back into the centre of the ground because then if Mick McGuan is getting his share of possessions you can be guaranteed that Williams will be getting his, his number and setting them up. Lynn getting onto it, couldn't quite take it. Oh, Burns charged away. Buckley, clever kick if it runs out. Not so clever if Murphy gets it. That's sitting on the fence for a commentator. Murphy's little kick after the tackle out of play. But you can see what Buckley was up to. He was trying to get some run with the football and keep it low. Murphy kicked a goal with his... First kick today, the teenager. Shawville front spot, Camper really couldn't quite hit Mott. Wright's had a quiet match. Both Wright and uh, Williams were involved in a basketball match that created injuries early in the preseason. Chris Mitchell, Brian Chin, Mark McKenzie, the umpires, 4 9 24. A lot of matches between them. Sporting. Manton, Murphy out of bounds on the fall, just blazed a bit and missed the lot. So Collingwood with through Russell to bring it back in. You can see that uh, Carlton has shifted Scott Camparelli into the forward line. And that will be, uh, I imagine, just to try and give uh, Scott Russell something to think about because Camparelli can kick goals. Well, short pass has found Nathan Buckley. He's in the back pocket. He is a beautiful kick. Another low trajectory kick. He was looking for Monkhorst, but he had support from Kelly. A good mark. He's taken three or four very good marks, Craig Kelly. On to Gavin Krasiska. Gee, it would lift Collingwood if they could get one early. Russell into the half forward line. It's a loose ball kicked away by Francis. Knocked on by Kernahan. Hickmott to Silvani. Runs to the centre. There's no one back there for Carlton. It'll bounce and Burns will get back there first. Score, we had a touch of the fumbles. We had plenty of time. Two defeaties was there. Alex McDonald wasn't good forward play by Carlton. They have no one back inside 50. Handball from McGuan to Kelly. And the Magpies go forward again into what's half forward. And Gavin Brown has marked. A big chance here for the Magpies. Silvani and Rocker. The lead is on by Rocker. Silvani at the back. Rocker underneath it. Punched away by Dean was good football, but Buckley wanted that ball and good umpiring again because really Buckley had no chance of getting rid of that. Right on 50 for Collingwood. Both teams searching for the opening goal in the second half. Madden front spot. Moncors tries to go over the back. Ratton keeps it down low towards Hickmont. Buckley couldn't hold the footy up. Cotton's got it. Under pressure from Ratton. Inside 50. Well played, Silvani. Stretched. Got his arm out to be very long. Murphy and Wright. Murphy trying to run away from Wright. Wright pressures him, but Murphy did well, I feel. He gained a few valuable metres. And Carlton can steady up. Between centre wing and half forward. Magpie's just in attack. Donald to do the work. Probably could have taken it cleanly. Gives it down and Hickmont a chance to set something up. Goes to Ratton, gets him at half back. Ratton off. Keeps it low. Chris to the target. Good stretch though by the Maggies through Patterson. An opportunity now for Williams. He's normally a great kick. It's home. They're back in town, the Maggies. They've closed this up now. This is the closest it's been for a long time. 6 to 7 7 and Jared he's the best player in a black and white jumper to get hold of the football in that situation unusual turnover from Carlton they don't often make mistakes but uh, as you were suggesting Bruce Paul Williams on the run 
anywhere around the 50 metre mark or closer is a lay down Mazir to kick a goal. Carlton was too many players in the middle. 11 points, the margin, right appealing for a free kick. Scott Crowe didn't have much chance of getting rid of it. The umpire's been very, very consistent. Back to that goal to Williams, a fine line between a goal and it going down the other end as Christo was running through the middle and it didn't clear Buckley, the kick from Ratton. Now Madden versus Monkhorst. Madden again wins the hit out. Ratton goes in hard after then knocks it on to Spalding. Danger here for the Magpies. Who's there? Kernahan gets the bounce. Onto the left goes the captain. And he's missed. He's not happy with himself, Big Stephen. 9-7 plays 7-7, so 12 points in favour of the Blues. But I just wonder if you, uh, your, your uh, thoughts on shifting everybody else out of the attacking 50 for Collingwood and leaving Savrock a one out in defence so we can go either way on the lead. I, don't think, I think that's a good move. It'd be worth a try for at least five minutes, I'd say. See how it went. Shawble the target. No one's touched it yet. They'll get to it. Sporting well done. If it stays in, it's a big move. Out of play. It was interesting there, Jared, from the kick out that was on the group with a cluster at centre half back and then there was a gap of about 80 metres to the Collingwood forward line where 10 players are all inside the 50 so huge gap there well they're uh, big on set plays now Collingwood and Stan Magro evidently is the uh, the uh, architect of most of them Hickmont to Murphy couldn't quite get it cleanly Shawball Crow going with Hickmont they both go to ground Burns can steady up Kick it to Rocker. It's got him the big sack. Did it well. He bodied Dr. Silvani. Just got him off balance. Now go back and drill it, big fellow. He will have a game if he does. It'll be a mighty roar here if uh, Severio can uh, kick this. Well, he is a beautiful kick. I, uh, at the risk of repeating myself, kick 2 2 today, Rocker. So, a big play here. Can rock a thumb it through. He's going to kick from 50. Drop punt. Close, isn't it? Confidence may be not quite there, Rocker. It's close. It's just not 100%, is it? It's teetering on it, it's about 90 and you'd need everything going for you as we see Allen and uh, Heaver and Rice now Silvani gets it short 9 7, seven eight. generally oh, across the ball uh, to the other side of the ground in that scenario, so well, predictable there Carl. and he's found uh, Hickmott who was surrounded but just uh, made that little gap all close to the line but he's found Dean, their field kicking Carlton normally very very good here's another example of it to uh, half back, this is Lynn Lynn to half forward to big Harry Madden. He's been a very... Oh, look at him spinning off. Gives it to Murphy. Great play by Madden. The pass is on. No mark to Kernahan. He's got it, though. Just gets a boot to it. Is that a mark to Pierce? I don't think so. Didn't uh, travel the required distance. Wright's in all sorts of trouble. Kernahan, Camparelli, Spalding. Still going on with the Spalding. Kernahan gets his boot to it. It's in the square. It's up. No, it's stopped right on the line and taken through by Mickey McGuire. Got a good bounce for Gwanda because it may have run away from him. Well done. 9 8 7 8. They're doing the little things, both clubs. This game is uh, really on fire at the moment. Russell's kick a beauty to Buckley. Buckley with a bounce and a second. He third. He has such awareness. Buckley's got wonderful orientation on a football field. Goes to uh, Burns at centre wing. Buckley's wide if he wants him. He just chips to Brown. He's a good mark. He's got two. He's got three. Telling Chris Mitchell it was my ball. What do you reckon? Maybe Hogg had a touch, maybe Madden had a sniff. A bit stiff not to get paid, wasn't he? He had a lot. 9 8 7 8. Moncourse. Crow straightens the body. Misses. It wasn't easy. He was just caught tacked. You can see the dried blood on his uh, below his chin around his Adam's apple 
as Dean to bring it back in short and he finds Hogg. 9-8 to 7-9. Yeah, very, very good, uh, Carlton, from the kick-ins. Now Hogg's going short and he has found uh, Camparelli. Collingwood's defence has tightened up pretty well to half forward. Oh, Fritz had a free kick to Madden, no. Taken away. Graham Wright was there as the kick comes down to Buckley, the dangerous Buckley. Onto the left, he belted in the direction of Silvani and Rocker. Rocker got front position. Silvani caught. The handball, Rocker, off the ground. And it is a behind, it's just the wrong side of the post. Gee, they're doing a lot of the attacking the Magpies. But once, again, once again, Macker, uh, Tony Shaw repeated that he, many times in the pre-season that this outfit would be super competitive and uh, they've come out after half-time full of running. And what a game we've got now. Madden and Kudafit is a target. Lynn ran it well. Kicks it to Pierce. Gets him. Doesn't. Yes, free kick. Cryptometer, which is important here. You see where Pierce? That's and inside 50, that free and kick. And you watch where he's going to kick from You're about 53. Right. That's a, it could make the difference between the goal and not quite make it. Goes short to Manton, is a long way from goal. Again short. Ratten, still outside the distance. Too slow. Lynn, they're still outside 50. Ratten, if Collingwood can get this, it'll be a huge turnover. This is a big play. Collingwood trying hard. He's now inside 50. Pierce can kick this. He's a good finisher. Look at that one to drill it home. They sting when that happens. When you battle your heart out and a finisher gets on the end of it and puts your three goals in front. 10-8 to 7-10. And another example of just uh, what an asset having a left foot is to a forward because uh, Pierce turned around just into open space. There was a uh, a dozen or so free kicks that could have been paid on that uh, occasion in that scramble. I think the umpire did the right thing in letting it go. A little bit of breathing space for the Blues. Collingwood had it on their forward line, missed a couple they should have got. And then Carlton got, oh, look at Williams. They're good at the centre bounces, Carlton. Williams into the pocket. It's no mark. Oh, here's Merton. Right, yeah. Merton to Kurt ahead. He's got it. his strength that's where he should be in the middle whenever there's a crisis on Williams into the center of the ground because uh, he is an absolute genius at taking the ball away from uh, a tight position and an excellent kick from man to set up Kernahan. Patterson off for Collingwood. Pitts come on 11 8 7 10. This is the moment now for the Maggies to stand up. Kudafidis play on court. Left foot to the wall, tough. The forward pocket I should say Silvani and Rocker out of play getting it forward for Collingwood. Boy, they're not far away, Collingwood, really. There's just another example of uh, another opportunity. Wasn't much pressure on the left foot kick coming into Rocker, but it didn't go to his advantage. Madden and Rocker to do the ruck work. It must score goals out of this situation, Collingwood. Pitt. Oh, got the bad bounce. Had a chance, didn't it, that one? A behind his second today. He was number 77 in the draft, Stephen. Pitt, the seventh man selected in the November draft by Collingwood. Quite remarkable. 22 years of age from Norwood. They've had a tremendous relationship with the Norwood Football Club, Collingwood. Silvani short to Hogg in the back pocket. Carlton 11-8, Collingwood 7-11. Hogg for distance. Gets it outside 50. Madden, well done, but uh, McGuan sizes up his opportunities in trouble. Murphy's got him. Play on court. Francis couldn't take it cleanly under pressure. Holding the ball, I think. He played holding the ball. Against McGuan. Yep. So the free kick to Murphy. Thanks for that, Matt. At half back goes to Manton. He's got Manton at half back. No, it's no. Oh, oh no, boy. He actually called play on then, and the Manton gave it back. Look at this. But they've lost it now. Oh, Carlton still got it. That is desperation, but right here. Oh, gee. 
Butley, clever play by Butley. Butley drills it in towards half forward. Christou read that beautifully. Great play, Christou. He belts it out wide looking for Williams. Will it sit? Greg Williams, let's see what he can do. He is very clever. But in the oh, holding the man the umpire's paid will go to Williams on centre wing. Mr. Cool, isn't he? The double Brownlow medalist. Great kick, look at this. Takuda Fides. That's the difference. Nathan Buckley had one similar. Missed the target. Williams hits Kuda Fides. Kuda Fides to Spalding. Well done, Shawble. Missed by Hassel. Shawble's hands were good. To Crow, to Williams. Away at half back. Neat kick. Can it get to McDonald? Sexton, well done. Had a lot of it again, Sexton. They pile in over the top. It'll be a bounce. He's an underrated player, Sexton, isn't he? Not a Carlton, but everywhere well, else. Everywhere right. else. She's a good player. Remember when he beat Greg Williams? Uh, in the, I think Bradley might have won the best at Ferris and Sexton was second and Williams was third in a year where Williams got a favourite in the Brownlow. That famous year when he didn't get a vote uh, in a match that he got 100 touches in. Monkhorst. McGuan's little give to Buckley. Stops and props. Then tries to get to Rocker. It had carry over the top. Whitehead. It's a good young player, Whitehead. Under pressure, wants Chris to out. Is it? It is on the fall. So the kick to come in. Hot to take it. Again, it's at Collingwood's end, but again, there's not much coming off the scoreboard for them. Carlton are just a little cleaner when they attack. More options. Walker set. Pit at the back, Silvani's handball. Lin out wide to Dean. Oh, they're very good in defence, Carlton. Dean, he's looking for Spalding. No mark, he's gone to the ground, so it should help Collingwood here. Graham Wright goes inside to Gavin Krasiska. He finds Burns a shocking play by Burns. He messed that up completely. But Shawball has a lot of poise, but in the meantime, a free kick back. And it'll go to Lynn behind the play here. And Tony Lynn almost in the centre of the ground. Now he's going to drive it long. He's looking here for Kernan. He's got the sit. Kelly did that well, but he's got the support here. Camparelli. Camparelli an open goal. Tries to bend it back, but he can't bend it far enough and one behind. 11-9 to 7-11. Collingwood have been into their attacking 50 on 12 occasions already this quarter. And unfortunately, the scoreboard shows that the result's only been the one goal. 1-4, they've kicked the Maggies against 2-3. Uh, McGuan short from Buckley. Just get the feeling with Collingwood that there's uh, so much relying on not so many. I'm on course at half back, but still they're going and they're still going. They're giving Carlton a real run, not a good kick. Murphy. Tony Lynn off the ground for Dean Rice. Man's in the target. And he's got it. He's been a good player today. He's able to hold his place in the 21 when it counted most last year. Penetrating kick. Kernahan, good mark. Still his ground. Just that too much height then for Kelly, didn't he? Well, the skipper uh, hasn't had a great influence on the game to date, but he's shown over a decade that uh, he, very he very rarely leaves a game without uh, placing his stamp on it. And when uh, you're four or five inches taller than your opponent, his long hands will occasionally get the ball. It's his third goal. Jared, as they go to 12-9 uh, to 7-11, you can often be quietish and finish with three or four and hand one or two out. He's so mature now that he, even if he's down early, he's able to work his way and have some influence on a match. Well, I think uh, one of the great the criteria for a great player is that you do lift the players around you, and one, that's one of Kernahan's uh, pluses. He's like a magnet. He draws two defenders freeing up on another. Therefore, Piers is important. So Carlton getting away now from the Magpies. They are a good third quarter side, as we said earlier. Here's uh, Scott Crow banging it down to Rocker and Silvani. Rocker in front. A lot of pressure put on by Silvani. Francis roving the packs. He picks it up and drives it a goal. It's an excellent kick from the little rover for a goal. And one thing about the Magpies, he's kicked his second. They will not lie down without a fight. 
I said earlier in the piece that uh, Tony Francis wasn't getting lots of possessions, but now he's already kicked two goals. If he can get another one or two and just up the uh, possession rate somewhat, he really has uh, finished on a high note. Two kicks, two goals, Francis. So uh, he's getting full value. Tony Lynn. Who's, uh, looks like he might have an ankle injury. 12 9 to 8 11. Back in the centre, McDonald was impeded by Brian Shee and the umpire. They surely would have given him a little leeway had he been caught. Well done. Oh. Madden to Williams arrogantly comes away. The diesel and kicks it superbly. 50. He's one of the best, the diesel. This will be 50 metres, this. I would think. Madden unhappy. Well, it's got to be 50, doesn't it, Jared? of vision there by Greg Williams. Followed up a terrific fend, a legal fend. Report. I'd say a report. And I'm not sure I would have uh, gone that far for a report, Maka, but the Williams kick around the corner. I'm not even sure Camparelli put his hand up, hand up asking for that ball, but it was delivered on a platter for him. And now it's uh, following a little bit of undisciplined play by John Hassel. Well, it has to be on the goal line. He took the mark at about 45 metres and uh, Camparelli from the square. His uh, temper's afraid here. Camparelli to stretch the Blues lead again. That's his first goal for the match. He's often the target, Camparelli, isn't he, uh, for opposition clubs to try and challenge him physically and I've never seen him back away. I've always seen him respond brilliantly as a footballer. Very, very talented player, Tam Camperelli. Showed a lot of courage then. He's continually manhandled and sorted out early in the old term, but he just keeps on going. He's got enormous talent. That's the most important thing. Of course, due to that report, we can't get the replay, but uh, it was an exceptional kick from Williams. So... Madden has dominated at the centre bounces. That'll be uh, a bounce, I would think. And, and full marks to the umpires. They've been very, very good on that. When the player has not had a chance to get rid of it, they've bounced it every time, and that's excellent. So Madden, again, <laughs> well played. Look, he's got his boot to it again. He's played an excellent game, Madden. Spalding versus Burns. Look at Spalding using his body and working hard. Very good player, Spalding. His button. Looking good now. Murphy's marked at half forward, 50 metres out. Been a good pick up from uh, Richmond. Now Leeds are coming up thick and fast here. Here's Kernahan. Kelly put the pressure on. Hassel, oh, that could be holding the ball. No. Pierce has got it. Gives it back to Rice. Kernahan goes for the banana kick. Tries to bend it back. Or well, Sandy Roberts and uh, Bruce McAvaney would want to say check side there. Well, being South Australians, that's. Uh how we used to call it when we were kids. It's been a great battle down uh, on Carlton's forward line. Kernahan versus Craig Kelly. Kelly undersized somewhat. He's used to playing on taller opponents, but uh, every time the ball has come down, it's been a great duel between those two players. McGuan just looking for an option or two. He's maybe forced to come in the Buckley direction. Sporting Krasiska to go. Oh, I was waiting down Murphy. Carlton read it much better. Chipped off, though, by Crow. Set a half back, looking for Gavin Brown, his captain. Good stretch by Brown. Hickmont able to rob him. Brown after though. Should get it to Shaw, but he does. Shaw will at 70 metres short. Wanting Rocker. No, good stretch by Pitt. I think you feel a little tight here, the youngster, the 22-year-old. Well played, Brown. Pitt had a shot for goal in the opening half in the second quarter and just missed from about this distance. And then he... He kicked another behind from a snap, and uh, he really does need to convert here for his team to have any hope at all. Good thing. Lazy drop punt, not good. He's got three out of three, but unfortunately they're all behinds. Well, one of the more positive things out of that piece of play, I think, for Collingwood was the role that Gavin Brown played. It was up in the centre of the ground and. Well, so there are a lot of theories about uh, keeping Brown in the forward line just for longevity. There's no question in my mind that he is uh, a far better midfielder than he is a forward. The ball at half-back, two defeaters, can't get his boot to it. 
Oh, it's hard in those clashes. In the packs. Oh, they go in hard again. Pitt did very, very well. On the Williams. Scotty Russell into an open goal. He's kicked it. The Magpies still clinging into a hope. Russell has kicked his first. 88 plays 66. Well, the question remains how long can Collingwood continue this enormous uh, running that they're doing? It must be draining their legs uh, considerably. Tony Shaw's used the interchange bench uh, pretty well today, just getting his midfielders uh, on and off. But uh, the likes of Russell haven't had a rest. He's been their best player this afternoon. How long can they go on? 13, 10, 9, 12. Good play by Pitt there and by Williams. And Russell has been very good all day. Collingwood hanging on. Carlton in the driving seat. Free kick though against Moncourse and then giving the advantage to Ratton. She Kernahan trying to get it to Pierce. Back to Ratton. To Rice. Manton sits, waits, clever. Sporting. Had a chance. Back to Manton. Back to Hickmont. Kicks from 45. Hooks and misses. A behind. I see Jared uh, seems to be giving uh, Sav Rocker a lot more room now. There seems to be one out down there. Well, I think when you uh, have got a player like Silvani as your opponent, you're far better uh, giving him plenty of space so he can actually lead to the ball. And a number of times, because there's been more than one player in the forward line, Rocker's uh, leads have been cut off. So McGuan has found right. Well, they're making some space here, Collingwood. This is uh, Gavin Krasiska from halfback, and now he belts it long. Awesome pace here, shown by Gavin Brown. Well done. He's coming into the game. Gavin Brown, long way out. The leader's on by Rocker. Silvani will come from behind. Up he goes. It clears both of them. Taken by Dean. Geez, a cool, calm and collected player. Sexton's underneath it. Brown at the back. Moncourse can't pick it up. Still going in after it, Moncourse. He's surrounded by Carlton players. Up by calling play on as Madden brings it to centre wing. Well played by Krasiska. He brings it in the half forward again. Players set themselves. It's no mark. Dean Rice can't control it. Off hands and over the line. 50 metres from the Collingwood goal. which I saw a moment ago. He'll give hope to players like Longmire who are knee reconstructions for the second time. He's undergone some terrible injuries and still back. Camparelli off the side. Will it stay in? Shawble goes. Marks anyway at centre wing. Collingwood are still coming here. 9, 12 to 13, 11. A couple of minutes remaining in this uh, third quarter. Gets an extra couple of metres Shawble. But uh, Allen couldn't take it. Under a bit of pressure now to Hogg. Hogg at uh, the back pocket. Little chip pass. Not quite. Williams well played. Good tackle on him. Moncourst. Tried to get out. Williams clever. Can go for it. Kicks it right to the goal square. Bouncing ball up behind. Rocket just not able to get off the ground and leap. Unfortunately there, 13-11 to 9 goals, 13. Williams with a third quarter goal, that time a behind. So it's the margin 22, it was 19 a quarter time, 17 at half, and 22 points right now. Well, here's Carlton's uh, great defensive work when they kick in. They've got the loose man again, it just becomes uh, monotonous watching it. It's good to field kicking though as Hickmott goes to uh, centre wing. Murphy races after it with uh, Grisiska, but it beats them both over the line. Just over a minute left in this third term. Good lead to the Blues. They lead 13-11 to 9-13. So Collingwood have to make up four goals as it stands. Allen versus Monkhorst. Quick kick was by Crow down towards the half forward line. Orchard's taken a good mark. He's very quick, Orchard. He chips it in. Locker underneath it. Silvani wearing him like a glove. And he's deemed the mop up. How often do we see this? Good handball too. It took a long time. It's going to be down the ground against Williams. The advantage given to Pierce to Manton. Give it back to Pierce. He's a beautiful kick. He's a great finisher. He's a sort of player that when he kicks a goal, and they seem to sting, don't they, the way he does it. Yeah, that likes a great trajectory. Babyface assassin he is, uh, Jarrett. 
Well, the problem for Collingwood, uh, of course, is that they had a chance up in their own forward line, but the kick to Rocker went over his head. And Carlton hurts you more than any when you turn the ball over. They just quickly whip it down to the other end. And as you say, Bruce, they've got uh, the baby-faced assassin there, Brad Pearce, who just topped it off. <laughs> oh, he's an exciting player, Pearce. Big putts by Mockhorse. McDonald hasn't done too badly on Kudafidis. Here's Rocker. Oh, he couldn't mark. He should have held that one. Silvani mops up again and finds Hogg. They've got a very good defence, Carlton. Hogg the centre of the ground and he's found uh, Glenn Manton. Manton's been a very good acquisition coming from Essendon. He brings it into half forward. It was a poor kick. He gives it straight to Kelly. Good feel Kelly there because Kernahan was on to him. Mickey McGuan. Gee, uh, Collingwood fan check was down the ground. It was probably 50-50. Chris Stewart centre wing. He's got Murphy wide if he wants him. He's got Manton inside. Goes to Murphy. Gets him. Murphy can run away. They're getting on top now, Carlton. That's a good-looking kick to the pocket. And Pierce couldn't quite, but the siren sounds. But he had a good corner, Pierce. He kicked two goals. His four goals have come at the main scoreboard in today. And there's an ominous feeling now because Carlton have stretched that lead from 17 to 28. And it's 14 goals, 11 to 9-13 at three-quarter time for them. They had a clean sheet. The final term commences at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, 14-11 to 9-13. It's been a good game of football on this Sunday afternoon before a very big crowd of well over 60,000. And Bruce, I noticed Tony Francis coming off the ground with the physio, so perhaps Dibber will get onto that one. Murphy, he's done all right. Not a lot of possessions, but you notice him when he gets the ball. He's a good uh, player. Orchard. Didn't quite get to Burns. Williams stuck the leg out. Orchard's handball back. If Chris Siska can stop it, he would have been in the box seat because he was on his left. He's a left footer. He's had a quiet game, Chris Siska. He started on the interchange, which suggested he wasn't 100% fit. He was very good last year at the club. Premiership player. Nathan Buckley up uh, right in the forward line for Collingwood. They realise they have to win this game and they need some goals. Monkhorst. Manton slung it away. Crow, well done. Shawble. He took on uh, Sporting very well. Kicks the ball to centre wing. Very well played there by Brown, but uh, only as far as Murphy to Whitehead. Whitehead to full forward. Kernahan, Kelly, and Hassel. Oh, courage by little Hassel. He went, the little fella, and he took it. Now, this kick's going to be accurate. Akuna Fides. He's had a quiet one. His athleticism and skill came to the fore there. And then attacks the goal front. Kernahan's in the box seat. Shaw will go. What a mark! We have seen some beauties on this weekend, and that was one of the best. Look at this in replay. Goes early, hangs on and takes it. It is the thing about our game that sets it apart from any other in the world. Williams has got it at 53 metres, so after that he gave it up. Could Greg go back and torpedo one through? Well, he'd certainly make the distance, but I guarantee Kernan will be on the end of this one. He is. Half volleys it. Camparelli concedes some ground. He's so skillful, Camparelli, to the front of the goals. Well played, Pierce. It's a sit and wait job for McGuan. Now he comes out wide. Mock course the target. He's had a quiet one. Allen did well. McDonald's hands were good to Russell. Draws Williams into the handball and takes on Greg Williams, does Paul, and then kicks it accurately to centre half forward. Pitt there, thumped away. Oh, Chris Siska needed that one. Balanced himself up at 50, little chip pass to Orchard. It wasn't far enough. He can kick a goal, though. Will he take Hickmont on? He goes to the pocket to Patterson. He's kicked two. He's normally very good from here. Short, very well played to Russell. He kept his head. And Russell can go back and give Collingwood a sniff. I thought Orchard was going to uh, run himself into some trouble there, but uh, Collingwood were good enough to get out of it. And this is an uh, excellent play from Patterson, who steadies. Rather than trying to kick the miracle goal, he gets it back into the high percentage area for Russell. From 35 metres out, a must kick for Collingwood. He's got it. He's playing his best football, Russell, for three seasons today. 
He was third in the best and fairest on three occasions when he first went to the club. And then had, uh, I think, a viral complaint. Jared had never recovered in the two years, but he seems to be back today. Oh, there's no doubt that Scott Russell is uh, playing one of his best games for a couple of years. He's always been an outstanding player. He's had his injury problems, maybe some illness. But I think he's been used uh, exceptionally well this afternoon. So 22 points the Magpies have to make up. They want a couple of quick ones just to give them that lift. There's Russell again getting it the right. This is looking promising. An ordinary hand pass though. Hickmott is caught. Trying to get it out then hooks it in. He's been pinned. You are not allowed to, you are not allowed to draw that ball back underneath you. And then if you grab, you're holding the ball. Orchard, so it was a good umpiring decision. Orchard, a long way out from goal, brings it into the pocket. He's looking for Buckley, who flies at the back. Had McGuan for support, and Buckley not happy about that. He's got Ange Christou picking him up. Throw in 50 metre mark. Collingwood's forward zone. They'll fight it out, the Magpies. They did in the Ansett Cup. Only beaten by a kick in that game. There's Patterson trying to crash his way through the pack. He's got Dean there for company, and Dean locks it in. It'll be a bounce, way out of 50. Well, I was stating the obvious before when I mentioned that Collingwood need to win this game. Of course they do, but uh, they've set their structure up a little bit differently in this last quarter, putting some of their class, more classier acts into the forward line. Nathan Buckley is one of their few players who could kick three goals in uh, five or six minutes, and they've given themselves now a chance of winning it rather than just uh, holding on. Here's Scott Russell, who has been very, very good on the pit. Back it comes to right. He's caught. Oh, that could be holding the ball. The umpires have been very, very consistent. And Wright doesn't like it, but he was caught red hot. Here's Matthew Hogg. And half back. He crosses the centre wing area at the back. Was Manton to fist it away. Still good at Manton. Here's Spalding on the Murphy. Murphy props, brings it in towards Kernahan and Kelly. Kernahan used his body pretty well. He's still got it, the captain. Tried to give it back, but McGuan intercepted. Good play, McGuan. It's still in play. Mc Mickey McGuan battling his heart out. And the umpire is going to say it's a throw in. It's caught a bit between the devil and the deep blue sea there, Mickey. He didn't want to give it up and didn't want to give it away deliberately out of play, but at the same time, with the new rule, if you have an opportunity and you don't get rid of it, you're under pressure. So he did pretty well to get out of it all and force the throw in. Spawning Shawball. Rice trying to pave a pa way through. Keeps the ball in play. Little push in the back against Russell, but no free kick. Handball on the up by Hassel was good. To Crow. Crow to centre wing. Free kick to Collingwood, I would have thought. Surely Brown was interfered with. Made the umpire read it as she and his now free kick to Patterson. Maybe he felt that Sexton had eyes only for the football. Anyway, that's past now. Patterson at centre wing. It'll be a mean man to complain about the umpire today, or woman. Move Kudafidis on to uh, Monkhorst. Good long kick. Dean front spot. Williams couldn't quite break the line. It was a wonderful tackle, actually, because Williams was through. Here's Orchard, who's uh, being busy. Patterson at 50. You can feel Collingwood running on here. Patterson short. He's got Brown. This is tantalising one for Brown because this is about his distance isn't it 49 metres 50 he's not a long kick they sometimes float they often don't penetrate as he gets up and under a little bit kicks him, kicks the ball very high but what a lift if the skip could kick one here if the captain could lead from the front with a goal and bring them back to two and a half goals well, his, question, his kicking is sometimes questioned, but uh, one thing about Gavin Brown, he genuinely kicks the ones that you want. 50 metres out. Gives it everything he's got. It's a beauty! A wonderful goal for this captain. You're a good judge, Snooper Haley. And the Maggies are 11 13 to 14 11. Well, you can never underestimate Gavin Brown. Uh, he is an out and out class player he's a gritty type of customer he, uh, his skills perhaps aren't the absolute outstanding skills of afl football but he's always there when you need him and that was just a great goal hollywood once again showing their great character as they fight back scott crow kicks to the half forward line for the ever reliable peter dean as david
back at the mark. Next goal, vitally important in this game. Hickma goes wide. Camparelli, he's looking for Williams. Williams getting in the hoots of the crowd. A dangerous hand pass. Orchard's been very good since coming on the ground. And the umpire saying it's my ball on centre wing and he'll bounce it. Harry Matt back onto the ground. But all of a sudden, the gang tackling, the constant pressure that Collingwood has applied for three and a bit quarters really starting to take its toll now on uh, Carlton, and they're turning the ball over. Well, here's Orchard. He's a very, very quick player. The half forward, Patterson at the back, but that's a good mark by Michael Sexton. He had too much height and strength and took a, a safe mark. Vital couple of minutes coming up here. He's at half back as he drives at the centre wing. He's looking for Spalding. Shawball's going to be a very good player himself in against Kernahan before and took a screamer and now he's taken a very good safe mark. He's got Brown moving for him, he's kicked to centre wing, he got to uh, Crow. he's been alright, Collingwood are on top at the moment. Can they make the most of an opportunity? It would be a famous victory, I know they're three goals behind but they're coming home, Hick might free kick too high. You only get X number of chances in footy and you've got to make the most of them and Collingwood have wasted a few today. Chris Dews kick. Oh, McGuad, courageous. It's happening left, right and centre here. McGuad on hands and knees to Crow. Not particularly accurate, but Collingwood with numbers. Hassel got a wonderful bounce inside to McGuad. McGuad taking his time. Needs to be accurate. Can it get to Rocker? It doesn't. Dean, as he's done so often over the years, fills the hole, fills the oncoming players, but stands his ground. Out to Camarelli. Williams is on very long if he can get to him. Williams is uh, struggling for pace here, but he'll get him all right, Camarelli. He takes it now. He looks sore, Williams, at the moment. He's got it at half forward left. Great kick on the last man. Last man you'd want to have the ball for Carlton if you're a Collingwood supporter because he kicks it beautifully. Look at that. Fine Spalding, Spalding a long, long way up from goal. Now, the Carlton player down, we'll have a look at him in a minute. Creed of feet, he's bumped off it by McDonald. Francis is caught, that'll be hard on the ball. Oh, a little bit lucky that time. He did have a chance to get rid of it that time. Oh, but I think the umpire uh, has to just be a little bit uh, fair Clean on this it. one. Yep. Well, he was really had a split point? second. You oh. couldn't say that was uh, as if he'd taken on a player or two. Yeah, you're probably right, Jared. A great tackle by Hogg. Now there's Madden tapping it down. Heaver, a quick kick. The danger area. Kernahan is there with Kelly. It's a loose ball. Persisco is there to mop up. The Magpies off and running again. Paul Williams at half back. Off he goes. Will they get the next goal? It's vitally important. He was looking for Russell. Out there was Brown, and Brown taps it over the line. It's on centre wing. Uh, yeah, cramp changes, mate. Uh, Camparelli's come off the ground, and he's suffering from cramp at the moment, Bruce. Well, that's important. Rice back on. 16-point margin. They kicked the first three goals today, Carlton, and they've sort of sat on that lead all day. And when I say sit, I don't mean passively. This has been an exciting game of football. kick and then got it to Dean. Dean's left foot is accurate to Kudafidis. About 80 metres from goal. Pierce is deep. He goes now, Pierce. Kudafidis goes to him. Someone's got to cut it off. They did. Well played, Crow. He's been all right. He went off with the blood wall early on. Just wasted a couple of balls early. Good stretch by Burns to the monkey. Someone's going to have to run for Damien. This has to be accurate. He does. He gets to Brown. Carlton still without a goal in this final term. Brown, oh gee, they took a while. Not good. Whitehead, Orchard, against the odds. Three Carltons and two Collingwoods. Out by Patterson, important to Krasiska, to Brown. Takes his man on. Again, little left foot is a beauty to Rocker. Well, he can kick this. Must have a shot. Will make the distance, I've got no doubt. Has to have a shot from there. Two goals for today. It's a big kick coming up, isn't it? Vital kick. Carlton hasn't scored, and we've been playing 13 minutes in this last quarter. If he kicks this, Collingwood has got a chance of winning. It'll be the closest they've been for a long, long time in the match. He kicks from 55. He's the one man in the comp that you reckon could do it, but he hooked it. He's kicked 2-5 today. Tony Shaw. 
Stan Magro, who well, looks remarkably composed, Tony, doesn't he? Some O'Shaughnessy. Well, he'd hate to lose, but I reckon he'd be pleased with some of the things he's seen today, and this game's not over yet. Rice, the Dean. Gee, he's been good in the crisis, Dean. To halfback. Kevin Brown's had a great uh, last quarter today. Well, he's been very, very good since halftime, uh, Gavin Brown. And the Collingwood players have locked this in. It was a vital ball. Carlton looked like having the loose man going there. There's Brown. Six marks, 11 kicks. Always gives everything. Very tough at the ball. Big thump by Carlton. Gee, that's a good knock. Murphy's in the van. He should kick it quickly. He gains about 35, 40 metres towards half forward. And it's forced over the line. Knocked away from by uh, Johnny Hassel. Away from Brad Pierce. It's halfway between centre wing and half forward for the Blues. They lead by 15 points. Carlton appear just to be trying to hold on at the present time. They've, I think they've got to get uh, a more of attacking role uh, up in the old brain box to get a couple of goals on the board. Well, there's Matt. No, oh, he's giving it straight to Graham Wright. Right into the half forward area. Dean is there again. It's thumped away. Hickmott. Oh, he played that very, very well on to Sexton. Sexton wide, and he's found Murphy. Centre wing. He's got a bit of space. That hasn't happened too often in this final quarter. Shaw ball. Composed. Under pressure now. Crow. Interesting this one because uh, he had a chance. Oh, you couldn't say that's a chance. I mean, that's... Half, well, he had half a chance maybe, but interesting in that Murphy sort of rode him a bit, so it's a bit of both. Yeah, he's had a split second to get rid of that one. I, the umpires have got to give the man playing the ball a chance to get rid of the football, and I don't think that was one. Fair enough, and they've got to be consistent. They've, they have been all day. It's been an excellent performance by the umpires. Good mark to Williams at half-back. Look, no chance of playing Williams a couple of weeks ago because of an ankle injury. He thought he might miss two or three matches, and yet he's uh, contributed very well today. Short to Crow. Just got to keep his off a bit here, Collingwood. They are three goals behind, but Carlton are, are stuck. They're in neutral at the moment on 14 goals, 11. Orchard at centre wing. They're trying to set it up. Brown just pushed out by Dean. Fairly. Sexed it away. McGuan and Williams, big contest into the centre. Sporting onto it. They need the right bounce. Could have finished, probably had it. Christo took the chance, so did it well. Big left foot to full forward. Pierce sets himself. Couldn't quite hassle all over him. Taken by McGuan. Collingwood again. McGuan has been terrific. So has Russell. They combine in the right. Oh, he's getting himself into trouble. He's gone back. But a low trajectory kick of bounce important here. Mockhorst, he's gone. But he gets in a hand pass. Brown. It's gone to Sexton. Sexton's grabbed when he didn't have the ball. It'll be a free kick to Michael Sexton. And that strong Carlton defence is holding on under enormous pressure. Well, they've got to try and get Nathan Buckley up into the uh, game here, Collingwood. They've pushed him forward, but he hasn't touched the ball in this last quarter. Here's Spalding. This is looking dangerous. Oh, he's a bit slow getting rid of it. I thought he could have given it to Canahan then. He's on centre wing. They've stopped Carlton. He's looking for Canahan now. Thumped away from him. Well played by Kelly. There's Russell. Shawble. Breaks the tackle. Drives it to half forward. Over the back is Dean. He thumps it back to Sexton. Oh, gee, they're experienced, those two. The kick comes back to Shawble, who looks as though well, he was off. Play on, says the umpire. This will be holding the ball in. Tough play decision, play. that one, I think, but uh, unfortunately it was there. Bad luck for the kid that uh, sort of went off and then dropped on it. The outbite called it. Sporting to half forward. Well played, McGuan. He worked in front of Williams. Has to give it up. Williams, clever. Well done to Heaver. Quick kick. Pierce with pace. Front spot. Little give Camper really normally a brilliant finisher. Bouncing ball. That's the ball game. Official attendance today, 70,152, 15-11 to 11-14. Well, what a possession this one turned out to be. It was uh, a scramble between two great players, McGuan and Williams. Williams uh, finally won it. 
and it turned out to be one of the more critical possessions of the afternoon. Good effort by Camper Rally to come on with after having a cramp and kick a major. 21 points now. That Carlton defence has been superb in the last quarter. Collingwood have gone forward relentlessly, but they've held them up. As Monkhorst goes forward again, Rocker at the back, but look, there they are again. They've got so many good players down there. It's Sexton this time, but gee, when the pressure's on Dean, Sexton, Silvani, they are outstanding players. And here's Ratton, Markey and Halfback. You're dead right, Peter. So much depth in this Carlton side. Wonderful team ethic. Collingwood have been right with them in that area today. Monkhorst, good mark. Had Buckley wide on the other side of the ground, goes into Brown. Excellent second half, again a bit properly when he stopped. Kicks to Buckley now, takes its time to get there, and Hogg was able to sit on it and get it away. And Carlton will uh, counter-attack. Heaver to Hogg. Hogg to half forward, not a good kick. Burns has got it. Sweeps out the handball. G. McGuan's been good. If Mick Sheehan's uh, listing, he'll be happy. The punch away by Dean. Madden. Sporting well played with balance to Williams. Oh, wonderful handball. Brilliant. This is going to be heaving to kick it. Straightens the body. Home and hosed. Greg Williams is a football genius with his hands. There's never been a better one. He's got to be in the Polly Farmer class, doesn't he, Jared? Well, Polly was an excellent handball, Bruce. There's no doubt about that. But I think uh, as the game has uh, got a little bit quicker, Greg Williams is perhaps. Uh, Just two vital in possessions from Greg Williams has really exploded this game. Twenty-seven points. Here he is again, Williams. He is a brilliant player. Hogg's been excellent also. He's a desperado little Matthew Hogg. Mickey McGuire has tried valiantly. On to McDonald. The Magpies go forward again. Francis has marked. He's been very quiet. Their lead's coming thick and fast. Rocker will come from the side. Thumped away by the strong Carlton defence. Sexton has the ball held to him. And the umpire will come in and bounce. So the umpiring has been excellent. Inside Collingwood's 15 has been in there a lot today. Carlton have withstood the challenge. Madden to Christo. Round the body. Remember, too, the Carlton won 16 consecutive matches last year on their way to the Premiership. So they're building a, a legendary run here. This will be 17. Sporting. Camparelli, good kick. Pierce, four goals already. What's this one? He's normally like radar, but he's missed. Four goals, three to Pierce. He was off the ground for a while. 16, 12, 11, 14. Damien Monkhorst off and Trent Hotton on. Big last uh, quarter effort by Monkhorst. And Burns brings it out to McDonald. McDonald, well, he's hung on to Kuta Fetis today. He's done a pretty good job. On the Hotton, to the half foot I look at Dean using his body on Brown. Well played by Paul Williams to thump it away. But he uh, succeeds in belting it around the boundary line. And uh, Matthew Hogg's got a sore jaw, but he's a little tough little... He was a great back pocket player at Footscray. They let him go. Tony Francis has only had three kicks, and most of the time he has been uh, on Matthew Hogg. Now, there's Whitehead. Still Carlton desperate. Hickmott. Back it comes to Cooter Feedies. They've got the loose man going here. Here's uh, big Matthew Allen. Hooking it back to the centre of the ground. Buckley... On the left, keeps it low, gets it to Patterson. Patterson inside 40 metres, hooks it and sneaks it through for one behind. He's kicked a couple of goals in the first half, Patterson. And Francis off the ground and Crow on. He's struggling a bit, Tony Francis. Copeland Trophy winner a few years back. Silvani long. Allen the target, right had to go early and then left his man Murphy, Dean, Williams and McGuan. What a fascinating duel it's been. They've both been outstanding. Well played, Williams, good snatch and grab by Sporting. Murphy didn't get.
get the best bounce. Right, he was held on to. Should have got a free kick, he does. I think the umpire should take a bow at the end of the match. Oh, bad kick by Graham Wright. He gave it up to Heaver. And Heaver goes short to Allen. They're prepared, aren't they, Carlton, to mix it around in their forward line. There's no sense of selfishness at all. They're able to... Uh, a man in the right position, they'll always give it off. Heaver's a goal kicker, and if he can kick two or three, it helps his cause, but he's quite prepared to give it to another young player in Allen. The 21-year-old, who looks destined to have a very good career. He's got an excellent tutor in uh, Justin Madden. And the signs are there that he should be a Carlton for a decade. Gets underneath it a bit, he's kicked it strongly. It's close. Just hooking at the last minute. The breeze has blown up a bit uh, late in this match, and that's a behind a Carlton. So their winning run continues, 16-13 to 11-15. Similar margin to last year in the opening game, but I feel Collingwood have shown a few more signs today. Hotton, be good if they could finish off with a goal. To Buckley. Didn't really look, but Brown in the front spot. Well played, Dean. Good uh, grab by Patterson. Russell, arguably Collingwood's best, back to Patterson. Gets it back towards full forward. Rocker, Silvani, was it touched? It's gone through. It's a goal. Patterson getting his third. And just a little bit for the Maggies, late in the match. And that's on a bad scoreline, 16-13 to 12-15. That's about indicative of what we've seen here today. First three goals to Carlton, and from that moment on, uh, Jared has been about even Stevens. Well, I think there's a lot to like about Collingwood's performance here today. Uh, Tony Shaw, I'm sure, well, there's tautology, uh, Tony Shaw would be very pleased with the uh, effort of his players. They haven't won the game. He'll be disappointed at that, but uh, they have been incredibly competitive. They've uh, had a pretty good uh, style of play. They just have lacked a couple of uh, keys up forward. They went into the game without Mark Richardson, and uh, that really has hurt them. Francis on for Krasiska. Blood rule, I think, for Krasiska. But uh, we're in the dying seconds now of the match. 70,000 people today. It's been patched up, Gavin. So for the last time in this match, the two Ruckman will go at it in the centre bounce. Williams trying to snare it. Does it well. It's played very, very well. Handball is magnificent to Hogg as the siren sounds. The Blues have won by 22 points. Three goals to Kernahan. Four to Pierce. Williams and Dean, two of the old stages. Dean was great coming back. Sexton. Robert Dipper and Minico, the big Dipper's down there. I think he wants to have a chat to Greg Williams. And Dipper, if you can hear me, it's all yours, son. Thanks very much, Bruce. You love playing these games, mate, don't you? That oh, was a great game again. You know, uh, Nicky ran off me a fair bit, but, uh, you know, we got back and uh, we held our great first quarter and we held our lead. I think that was the difference in the end. Nice to see you smiling. I mean, uh, after last year's grand final, pre-season, I've been done with, important to win this first one. No, it was a big game, you know, we had to the old hangover they reckon was going to happen. Well, you know, we're about five hours premiership side out and we did well tonight uh, today and uh, now we're wrapped. Think, yeah. all right, off you go. Go on, you're pretty happy. Go on, off you go. It's a hard man to get a word out of, isn't he? Well, you, you've shared something with him in the past, ever, haven't you? Yeah. A Brownlow medal in 1986, the two of them. Both getting it on the one day, or the one night. David Parker and Craig Bradley there. And Jarrett, they're building 17 straight, 16 at the end of last year. And it's a wonderful club, isn't it? It's frightening when you consider the uh, calibre of the play they had out. Craig Bradley. Fraser, Fraser Brown, Brown and Matt Clappe both before the game, Jared. Yeah, and they've got some uh, good young talent coming into the uh, side also. So David Parkin went into the season knowing that uh, on average he had to change the side by about 25%. It's going to be pretty tight uh, to get a Guernsey into this uh, combination. And I think that's because David Parkin, in his 400th game as coach, the, the skippers acknowledge that. And I think the players are, they're very close to Parkin. And this is a wonderful moment. 
as he leaves the most famous arena in Australian football and Australian sport for that matter, the Olympic Stadium, where Test cricket's played and all the great games of footy, and leads his troops down. And uh, I mentioned the work, work ethic, and there's the man in his first match as coach. I think he's got a fair bit to take away from this game, and most of it's positive. No doubt about that. Uh, the amount of times Collingwood took the ball into the forward line only to have it rebounded was incredible. And uh, they're only one or two players short, I think, from being a uh, very, very competitive side, Peter McKenna. Yeah, I agree with you, but set an outline down to uh, Rocker getting it to full foot. Sometimes their disposal lets them down. They turn the ball over very easily, but they've got plenty of heart. And I, I, I agree with you. A, a heck of a lot came out of this game for the Magpies as well. Final scores of the MCG. Carlton, 16-13, 100. Nine. Collingwood 12, 15, 87.